Hello and welcome to Coffee Milk. So last week you were all in your head and you were like, oh, I don't know if our audience is going to like the whole feeling thing. But apparently it was a big hit because I had three different people all tell me that it was a great, it's it's a way of connecting. I mean, when they're listening to a podcast, it's almost like they're talking with friends in the room. So they want things that they could possibly relate to them about. That's what I was told. I, I haven't heard anything negative, but I heard those three positives. So I just wanted to let you know that, hey, people do appreciate it. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good that people appreciate it, at least. Because I remember you uh, you texted me after you edited it, and you were like, oh, well, took out these parts, left these parts in. I think it'll, I think it'll actually be good. It'll connect with people. And like, you were like, people might reach out, and people did. So that's good. Yeah, for me, it was like, I think we went 24 minutes on the subject. I think I cut it down to six. That's good. So I really, yeah. I need 24 minutes on that. Yeah, that's how has your week been? Oh, just work. Anything new? Yeah, no. I don't, I'm, I'm a boring person. Oh, I heard that you're, you've are you been doing a lot with your website for work, and you've been trying to get a different type or oh. attract a different type of customer. Yeah, people who are just in the high-end furniture, and the furniture was kind of going to be like one-off artistic pieces. It's not so much furniture. It's kind of like that living room you have in your house. It's, it might be a second living room if... You are a certain family. A bunch of my friends always had that separate living room. You cannot go in it. It's for company only. And they'd have plastic on everything. It would just yeah, be nice. My and grandma's house had a room like that. Yeah. That's kind of the furniture we're looking to design. Like we have these beautiful copper beds, but it's, you know, obviously you have okay. a mattress, but it's a beautiful, crazy shape. It was based on this one, the balloon chair, I believe. I can't remember. Interesting. So you're going for more like high end. Um, like really like design orientated like pieces. Yeah. Right. And then definitely like a chair. Or, uh, well, I mean, the well, art, it's a chair, but it's going to be a yeah. crazy chair. Yeah. It's going to be like a. Hello and welcome to Coffee Milk. So last week you were all in your head and you were like, oh, I don't know if our audience is going to like the whole feeling thing. But apparently it was a big hit because I had three different people all tell me that it was a great, it's it's a way of connecting. I mean, when they're listening to a podcast, it's almost like they're talking with friends in the room. So they want things that they could possibly relate to them about. That's what I was told. I, I haven't heard anything negative, but I heard those three positives. So I just wanted to let you know that, hey, people do appreciate it. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good that people appreciate it, at least. Because I remember you uh, you texted me after you edited it, and you were like, oh, well, took out these parts, left these parts in. I think it'll, I think it'll actually be good. It'll connect with people. And like you were like, people might reach out, and people did. So that's good. Yeah, for me, it was like, I think we went 24 minutes on the subject. I think I cut it down to six. That's good. So I really, yeah. I need 24 minutes on that. Yeah, that's how has your week been? Oh, just work. Anything new? Yeah, no. I don't, I'm, I'm a boring person. Oh, I heard that you're, you've been doing a lot with your website for work, and you've been trying to get a different type or oh. attract a different type of customer. Yeah, people who are just in the high-end furniture, and the furniture was kind of going to be like one-off artistic pieces. It's not so much furniture. It's kind of like that living room you have in your house. It's, it might be a second living room if... You are a certain family. A bunch of my friends always had that separate living room. You cannot go in it. It's for company only. And they'd have plastic on everything. It would just yeah. be nice. My grandma's house had a room like that. Yeah. That's kind of the furniture we're looking to design. Like we have these beautiful copper beds, but it's, you know, obviously you have a okay. mattress, but it's a beautiful, crazy shape. It was based on this one, the balloon chair, I believe. I can't remember. Interesting. So you're going for more like high end. Um, like really like design orientated like pieces. Yeah. Rather than just like a chair. Or, uh, well, I mean, the well, car, it's a chair, but it's going to be a yeah. crazy chair. Yeah. It's going to be like, a, like the cars that you did or do are like pretty amazing. Those are also like really old and like 
have a lot of design to them. Right, but so. you're you're building from somebody else with a car. You're yeah. building a Ferrari. You're building a Porsche. Like with this, it's your creativity or yeah. whatever the design comes back that the person likes. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, we figured these beds would be I don't know a quarter of a million dollars. So it's just from oh my goodness. Oh yeah, uh, it's not a four thousand dollar thing. No. It's this would be about six wow. months work. So yeah, that's so you gotta bend all that metal and then you have to like shape, shape it. it polish it weld it make sure the seams are invisible oh yeah that always amazed me when you showed me those pictures of the of the metal that you like two separate pieces that you join together oh, yeah. with a weld and you just get it polished down to look like nothing they say there's two types of people you're either a welder or a grinder i'm a damn good grinder <laughs> <laughs> I, I find it amazing what designs were kind of getting and that kind of led me in Instagram. And I figure for something like that, the best bet would be Pinterest. But I wish there was like a Pinterest for people in Dubai. You know, the the big oil sheiks yes. or something. Because that's kind of who people you're really who going for. buy like a three half thousand million, dollar bed. Yeah, half a million dollar coffee, stand, coffee table. Like, you know. It doesn't matter to them. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, actually, I watched some really good videos on... Uh, there was this kid, I don't know whose child he was, but all of a sudden he, a, a sheik or whatnot is coming out of a, a big fancy restaurant in Dubai and the kid just says, hey, I want a Mercedes. Guy says, you want a Mercedes? This kid can't be older than five years old. Oh, you want a Mercedes? Next day, a kid had a Mercedes. Wow. Then some other kid tells another sheik, he's like, I want a horse. You want a horse? Done. One week, the horse was there. <laughs> it's just insane. I want that kind of money. That's insane. <laughs> I'm going to have enough money where I can bless others like that. Oh, what do you want? Oh, you want a yacht? Sure. 28 million. There you go. Yeah, that's incredible. Oh, so funny thing. This is what I want to bring up. It was, I saw a meme on Instagram and it said, I don't know how to explain this, but Thursday, October and 8 p.m. are all the same thing. And I completely understood that. And then I was talking to my cousin and mother, and they just didn't get it. I am so confused. It's very easy. Thursday, October, and 8 p.m. are all the same thing. Don't know how to explain it, but it's just all the same thing. And I understood that because, yeah, 8 p.m. is like Thursday, which is like October. I, I don't know why, but... For me, it actually goes with colors. Thursday is orange. 8 p.m. is really black. 9 p.m. is Thursday, so it was really 9 p.m. Thursday and October are all the same thing. I know, just bear with me now. I just... am, I am, I am. <laughs> so Thursday is orange. Friday is black. Saturday is gray. Sunday is white. Monday is green. Tuesday yes. is weds. I see what you're doing. And then Wednesday is gray. Yep. Do days have colors for you? Or do no. numbers have color or months? Because October is so orange. I'm guessing eight o'clock. If you okay, if you kind of like looked at everything in fractions or percentages, almost Thursday is a certain percentage through the week. Eight a.m. is a certain percentage through till like the day. midnight, and um, or eight p.m. Sorry, and then October is a certain percentage till the end of the year, and that kind of all lines up in my head a little bit. And if you calculated it out, I bet it'd be kind of close. Well, I mean, yeah, if you want to do math like some sort of nerd. Yeah. No. But <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I thought of. <laughs> no. Like, you got colors over here. I'm like, uh, nah, Monday is just Monday to me, but nope, Monday always, is the start of the week to me. Monday's always had a color. I don't know where it came from, but my cousin said, yeah, I'm I'm special. And my mom just had what we call a Vera fit. My grandmother's name was Vera. Anytime she laughed, it would just be a few minutes. Yeah. I mean, she would practically be crying from laughing so much. And my mom inherited that trait. I guess I'm a very rare person, but I did go on Reddit. And That's there were like 38,000 people who do agree that days have colors. But their colors were wrong. Monday was green. Huh. So, I, I don't know. I just thought that was a weird thing. I don't yeah, want I've never heard of that before. I, I had, Days have colors, I guess. If anybody has that weird So, thing. what color is it today? What day is it? Friday, it's black. Saturday's gray. Sunday's white. I don't know why. Sunday, I assume Sunday's white because, you know, it's the holy day. Saturday's just gray because it's like, eh, whatever. Where did you learn this? 
obtain this information? I, it, it's nothing I learned. Like nobody ever told me, Hey, Monday is green. Born with this. This is talent. It's always been a thing. And my mom's like, do you have, I think it was called synesthesia. And that's where I don't, huh. I, I even told her I don't, but it, I guess it's where you, when you say words, people see colors. And I was like, wow, how crazy would that be? That is interesting. So now having said the AI thing or, or the Instagram thing, I started seeing it more, I guess, using mid journey with certain pictures, you can start to see where you'll know it's AI and the pictures could be flawless, but it, it, it's probably a lighting thing or colors, but I've noticed it with houses, people, and especially cars. Cars, I notice the tires, they're just smooth on the outside and it should never be like that. But um, I came across this one person and apparently this AI influencer has been around for since 2009. That kind of blew my mind. Whoa. Uh, what's her name? I thought it was Lou. L-U. Lou of Magalu. And she was promoting something. I blog TV on a behalf of a magazine. And she's been doing it since 2009. Apparently, last year, she created, or she earned $552 million dollars from advertisements i'm sorry we're looking at microsoft bing right now and their new what is the image generator are they using dolly 3 believe so because these are really these are oh wait it spells it puts in the words oh it puts in the words too and i think that's part of dolly 3 and the, okay that's that's if i'm not mistaken me. yes it's oh I, we're it says it right here. Yes, it is powered by Dolly 3, and I have definitely noticed a difference between Dolly 2 and Dolly 3 because I have always been wanting to get pictures of kendamas for my blog. Right. And that's kind of, it, get, it gets it, like it has a handle, it has some like things sticking out the side, but it's all weird and jagged. Yes. This one, I'm asking for like a kendama hero image, and it's giving me like a person like with their hand wrapped around a kendama that's awesome and then it's and then it's like they're holding it out and there's like all streaks around it and it just i don't know how to describe it but they they even did the hands right the amount of number of fingers on the hands and like uh mid journey struggles with that that was really cool all right it's See, getting a lot better i've just been going nuts with mid journey i really gotta start but that was through bing that was bing image generator yes and that is Dolly 3. Just right. Probably they might have like, API. Maybe they have it tweaked a little bit. Yeah. Figured a certain way. But, d dude, this is freaky. I asked for a Kendama success. And I get this, like, picture of this, like, kid holding this Kendama. And it looks, like, realistic. But also, like, exaggerated to the point where it's freaky. Like, that just looks like... That... Oh, yeah. That just that's just like unpleasant looking. Like I'm not gonna sleep well tonight. It's weird because the pictures are so clean that they're too clean. It's like that street is perfect behind her, and you only see glimpses. Yeah, of it, but like, everything's too. It, it needs. I don't know what to call the it. The way that is a factor. Well, the way that it takes two different things and combines them is really like intuitive. Like. There's Kendama tricks called airplane, and I don't know what I'm gonna do for a picture of that. It's not like I can just get a picture of the of the trick because it's like, it's just like, uh, yeah, yeah. Because you know, you're not gonna you're know gonna what section the of the trick you're at. Yeah. yeah. So I gotta ask Kendama airplane, and then it gets a picture of a Kendama, but without the ball on the top, it puts a little wooden airplane, and it just looks perfect. It, it just blew me away. See, now I'd have to play with it, and I'd have to choose what... It, it seems like everything has its own thing. There was one I was looking at, and it seemed it was perfect for... What the hell's that? Uh, the Japanese cartoon stuff. It was... It was Anime? Yeah, it was yeah. kind of like that. Yes, I have... I actually made, like, anime-style kendama pictures, and it's like a cartoon drawing of the kendama with, like, Chinese symbols around it because I was trying to get, like, a cool picture for like my what was it a featured image so yeah works really good like for like any blog probably today like anything you're doing so yeah dolly three definitely try it out if you have the chance works amazing so speaking of ai i heard about um some of these companies that are doing or focusing on ai wearable technology and they're kind of like 
going with the idea of like talking to chat GPT and getting results from it rather than Google, but like putting that into a little pin or pendant that's on a necklace that you wear around your neck and it kind of records everything throughout your day and you can ask any questions about something that you've heard, say like, oh, I heard about this today. Take what I heard and research it more so I can learn more about that. Or like, I had this meeting today. Can you summarize this meeting for me? I forgot what uh, so-and-so said. I forgot what like John said during the meeting. You could ask the AI to do that. And um, a lot of these devices right now, they're like, you can connect them to your phone and use them that way. Or you can just have, there's one that's coming out and it's by Humane and they're making an AI, um, an AI like button that kind of goes on your, on your shirt. And it almost is kind of designed how, you know how the iPhone, like the older iPhones fought like five, they, they were like, not like a brick, but they had more like. Uh, thickness to them. Oh yeah, and then it, it had the metal like bezel around it. Um, it kind of looks like that, and it has like a a camera bar at the top of it. Um, so that's what that's what the device looks like, and it has a projector on it as well, and it projects onto your hand or whatever you're holding, I guess. Oh, and you can kind of use that as a as you would a phone. So I was wondering, like, if you ask it, does it come in real time? Is it display on your phone? Do you have an earpiece or That'd be kind of cool. It just tells you exactly what you should say at certain points or, um, you know, you get asked a question and it can just relay it to you in your ear. Um, yeah, I think it just like speaks out loud, like with a, with a little speaker. Yeah. You could definitely hook up a, um, Bluetooth, yeah. Bluetooth headphones to it. That's awesome. Yeah. I saw somebody else was looking into glasses. There was... I'm not sure if it was Ray-Ban, but somebody had partnered it up. It yes, is it Ray-Ban. is Meta and Ray-Ban. They partnered together. Um, and right now, they're kind of teasing at these things that I'm talking about with Humane and um, some other companies, like this one called uh, Tab as well. And then, I forget the other one. But um, they don't really have the capabilities that these devices have where they listen to your whole day. But they're going to have a camera in them so it can like look at something and then use AI to process that image and like give you information about it or how to use it or how to fix it if it's broken. Um, Like you could take a picture of a bicycle and then if it's broken, it'll tell you like the steps to fix it with AI. ChatGPT can read doctor's handwriting and tell you what that prescription says. I was (laughs) amazed. There Uh, you go. That's an actual good use. So I, I... the I want to know how those glasses is it just going to be information is it going to augment reality as well I believe oh I'm sorry I left that part out I get way too distracted when I explain things explain things but right now it's not going to have that augmented reality like heads up display but they are hinting at adding that in the future I believe like from what I saw best of my knowledge I don't think they have it right now but it's coming so yeah I think you'll just be able to like use the cameras and it's going to have headphones integrated into m- into them as well so you could like always like ask it a question at any time i believe it's coming out with that feature right now i might have just contradicted what i said 2 seconds ago but it's coming out with that feature like you can talk to it back and forth but the augmented reality is coming soon it's just having an on-hand virtual assistant yeah and then they'll be able to do handle your fine oh yeah pay this credit card today yep. no problem book this trip no problem yeah I was really like thinking about it the other day and I was like, okay, so I use chat GPT like this. I'll like go find an article online. I'll give it that article. I'll have it, um, learn from it. And then I'll write my own article with chat GPT on that topic, get some YouTube videos. Like AI can do all of these things. Like there's this program just came out that just came out. That's called like Autogen, and it uses AI agents to basically like, It replaces me copy and pasting everything and asking for certain things. Like it just understands the main goal and then the tasks that go along with it. So it's like right now we have these pendants that we can talk to and stuff. And like they're not fully connected to our accounts or computers yet. But once that happens and once we find a better way to communicate with them without like speaking out loud or like maybe we can just like read our brain waves <laughs> we are able to just use the internet at the snap of a finger and i can literally just build my blog sitting here 
just like thinking about it which is just like that's gonna be crazy like i can't wait to see that day because it's coming we have those games that you play where you put the headset on and it reads your brain waves and it like moves the ping pong ball up and down are oh, the, don't those been... actually like read a portion of your brain that like yeah, that's uh, focused. That's been from a, a while. A, yeah, it's been out so like, for a while. And it actually works like off your brain, right? So like if that was out back then, like we definitely can have some non-invasive devices that can do this. Yeah. I think actually I just read the CIA was uh working on their own form of AI. I was like, "Oh, good." <laughs> oh, great. Uh but they uh, apparently theirs was to combat the Chinese. That's what the the headline said. I didn't read the yeah. article, of course. I just thought that was kind of fascinating. I was looking at AI. That's really interesting about how Meta acquired the, uh, or not acquired, partnered with the, the Ray-Bans company. Because I remember they, they had glasses for a while with cameras in them, like ever since that Snapchat glasses came out. I think they actually were partnered with Ray-Ban. I'm not, I'm not sure. I might be confusing two things. It only makes sense to, I mean, if you're going to build something, why would you build a better or try and build a better sneaker? Yes. Just go to the sneaker company who yes. knows how to yeah. do that yeah. and you provide your thing, but like, figure it out. Exactly. But um, yeah. And then I heard that Facebook is having like a bunch of AI tools that are coming out. Like I'm not going to really go and explain them all because it's pretty like self-explanatory if you li listen to any episodes, like they're going to have like image editing, like maybe voices, stuff like that. And also, um, I heard that like they're having deep fakes of people, of celebrities on Facebook. Mr. Beast was one. Oh, really? Yeah, because I think he put out a huh. kind of like a press release talking about okay. the deep fakes. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot about that, and that that's definitely like expected. Oh yeah. I wonder if, like how that's going to end up, like what the law is going to be. You know. <sighs> I, we're just entering a major gray zone with everything. So yeah, they were talking about actually producing AI chips, uh, open AI, and that's just to keep up with everything and make things faster. It's kind of wild how instantaneous everything can go. So yeah. <laughs> that's just interesting. When, just when you think it can't, it just, it's so fast, everything that's happening with us. Yeah. I've never seen... It's going to be exciting to see how the chips change thing or how... how or if they're going to work. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Microsoft was going to do a chip with somebody, but they weren't even sure if they were going to use the chip or not. Huh. Wild. Interesting. I'm hearing about like new Intel PCs that are coming out with some chips too. So I, I, I want to see what that does. Like, is it really going to make it better? Like, I don't know if you're going to see it in hardware besides like wearables and stuff. I don't think you're going to see a real big thing in hardware for probably another year or two but yeah that's still amazing and it's <laughs> leaps and bounds ahead of yeah every other i was big technological advance yeah definitely like i was just like i was having shower thoughts i was in the shower i was like like if I, if you can do it in the shower like if you can use the device in the shower then you can use it anywhere so it's like how do you make a device that's like that you can literally keep on you 24 7 that's not gonna like be affected by like sound around you or like anything like that oh it'll be it's like nice. if it just takes out your thoughts it'll just be like insane where and, like that's the only like that's what we have to get to and then it's just what do you do from there how else do you use it sorry we got everybody in this house making noise and it's we're doing this later today it was my fault that's all right i got my teeth cleaned you're nice i saw just something for Ozempic, and I don't know... Oh, I have something written down for that, too. Okay, well, tell me what the hell I'm okay, reading. Why Ozempic is it trending? Is apparently a weight loss drug, I believe. I don't know if it's designed for weight loss, or it just is really good at helping you lose weight. And apparently it's, like, catching on so much I, to the point where, like, we're hearing about it now, and it's not, like, a usual thing for, like, a drug to be trending, I guess, but... It's helping people like cut back on no. snack food and people are saying it might threaten the, the snack industry or like junk food industry, but that kind of doesn't make sense. I don't think it'll it'll be that powerful, but uh, like it's just this drug. Like I I think it's like a, a shot. No, or I know it in it. I know what Ozempic is. Oh, 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 Ozempic. It's a com like the commercials on constantly, but I didn't know that that's what was trending. I still can't get a clear thing of it 
oh, okay, no, it is about the weight loss drug. Ozempic isn't causing people to buy less groceries. Inflation is. Okay, well, somebody had to have made a comment about Ozempic yeah. and less groceries. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, it was kind of like a weird parallel that they drew, but it was like too broad. Like, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I just want- crazy. I, I Googled it, and of course, all I see is the Ozempic stuff, but I just wasn't sure. Like, yeah. Is there an Ozempic AI? <laughs> yeah. All right. Imagine that. Oh, I heard about another uh, company doing like an AI collaboration. That's kind of interesting. So Bacardi is partnering with um, an AI company, and they're making an AI album called The Concept AI Bum or something like that. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a play on words for album. Um, oh, but thank you. Yeah. So they're making, they're just basically like, they got like five artists in there, have going to have them all like feed their um, music to this like AI bot and they're going to generate songs off of their music. And I think they're talking about like submitting it for like the Grammys or something like that. And they mentioned how they, they already made a regulation at the Grammys um, saying that you cannot have any AI work be submitted unless there was like significant human contribution to it. But I don't understand that part because it's like, I don't know. It's, How do you, it's such a gray area. Because but, it's your work that you're feeding into AI, but yeah. it's producing something on your work. It's like, I would, just, I would be like, look, it's from this song. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. And we're seeing a lot of companies kind of like trying to hop on the bandwagon, I guess. But I mean, why wouldn't you? It's pretty incredible to have computers like process language, I guess. That's the, the main difference. I don't know. But yeah, that, that was really cool. Something else I heard about, but this is not related to AI. Um, I, You know how Airbnb, like you can you can rent out for like 30 days. Right. And now I hear that, um, like, I think it's just more like dense cities are putting regulations in to not let you like be a host and rent out an Airbnb for more than 30 days. Did you hear about that? No, but... Because I think they're, like, doing that to, like, I don't know, like, hinder Airbnb as a company because they're making so much money, and then they're, like, breaking the traditional system of, of rent. Okay, so what would that mean if they're breaking the traditional system of rent? Think about it. You're in a large city. You have so many apartments. Those apartments go for... Eighteen hundred dollars a month, and you rent it out on Airbnb for all thirty days. At what are you going to rent it out at? Hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars a day, times thirty days. That's way more than eighteen hundred dollars. So they're making four grand on something, and they're never going to give up that apartment because they're using that apartment to make so much money. Yeah, increasing the rent of everybody around them because apartments are so hard to find now, and that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to stop you from doing something like that, but. Okay. I mean, shit, I'll still do it for 30 days, yeah. make three months rent, and then live there for three months rent-free, and then do it again for 30 days. That's that's wild, though. Yeah, they're going to try. This is why I hate government. Bless you, Berg. My dog just sneezed. I hope you got that. I just love when the government tries to intervene on anything, and they just always seem to mess things up. I don't know what I really want the government for. I just want them to remove the, the snow, remove the trash... And maintain the roads. That's about it. And the bridges. And I don't really trust them with infrastructure. You see 610. That thing's been going on for like nine years. Yeah. And, and they and still they don't do have something it right. bad with the soil. I thought it was the cement too. Like they used horrible cement and the soil is from an environmentally yes. like, damaged place. It's yeah. like, what are we doing? Yeah, Somebody got kickbacks in Rhode Island. It's just crazy. But the, oh, the reason why I mentioned that Airbnb thing was because there was a new platform that's coming out Oop. to like solve that issue and they're maybe they're getting like regulation or something or they found another way around the regulation that they just made to like allow you to have 30 day stays or over 30 day stays and it's like t targeting like the people who, who previously used Airbnb. So like maybe like when I thought about this, I was like, okay, so maybe like these these regulations are kind of creating a new market online and people have already like swooped in and are starting to like make platforms for it. I mean, I don't think the problem's the platform, the, the problem's the government involvement. I don't yeah, think I don't know. just make a new platform and be like, well, our platform's like, for 45 days because yeah. the government's still going to be like... That's a, this is what I heard online, but I mean, it could be wrong. Yeah, and did you hear about... Um, 
Mr. Beast partnering um, with the, the Charlotte uh, Hornets basketball team. No. He did a brand deal with them for $100 million. Uh-huh. Just, I believe it's like, like they're going to probably do videos to promote their products and like other things. But there's like a little spot on their on their jersey with the Feastables logo now in like the top left spot. Um, yeah, and that and that was like a hundred million dollar deal. That's that's pretty insane. This guy started with YouTube and now he's just everywhere. Yeah, fifteen he just years doesn't ago. Stop. Good for him. Good for him. Thing is, he doesn't even have. I mean, I'm sure he's probably worth so much money, but I don't think this guy has a lot of money. He doesn't seem to like money. He likes to give it away. and Yeah. Uh, that's why I don't care what kind of dirt you could dig up on this guy. I just applaud him. He is my hero. He just more does way more good. And seriously crazy. I saw him shred, uh, what was it, a Lamborghini? Yeah, that, I did see that video. That was insane. That hurt a little bit. Yeah. Hey, when you got that much money, he's he's keeping jobs going. Yeah, he is. That's for that's for dang sure. You should ask him if he needs a copper bed. A copper bed. They're like you could totally smash it. Build whistle and diesel like a really really um old car that's like super rare and doesn't exist anymore. Make it look real good, like it's like one that you found or something, well, and then have him destroy it. Well, if they paid for it, they could do whatever I... Oh, they would. Okay, that's all I care about. Reach out to them. Well, I'll make you whatever you want. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm really excited for all the AI things, and I I found um a new program that's kind of interesting. I talked about it a little bit before. It's called Autogen. And it, yeah, I actually have that written down. Why do I have that written down? Probably maybe because I said it earlier. Oh, yeah, good call. But I don't know, or maybe you found it too at the same time. Because people are talking about it now, but what? it's this Microsoft, um, Microsoft like code profile, I guess that you can like download online, kind of like you download a repository from GitHub or something like that. I think it's called. Mm. Anyways, it basically takes Chat GPT and, like I said before, eliminates like all of the back and forth conversation that you have. Like it automates all of that. So say. I want to make the make a snake game, right? So then I'll just I'll just give give it the goal of like making a snake game and then it will talk back and forth with itself basically and it'll make the code and then it'll give it to itself and it will evaluate the code and say, "Oh, there's a mistake here." And it even can go as far as ha- like it'll run the code on its own, like simulate you running it on your computer and it'll tell you if there are any mistakes. And like you can also like like join in the conversation with the two AIs talking to each other and say, Hey, like, can you also add this in the mix? And then it'll work that into like their conversation. So it's basically like you are a manager and you're getting uh basically any anyone you want. You could have them act as an accountant, you could have them act as a coder, as a as a website designer, as a copywriter, anything. And you're basically just getting a team of them rounded up. And having them all just talk to each other and complete the main goal of whatever you set. And you can give specific instructions or really vague. It doesn't matter. I'm going to start playing with this. I looking at this I am. I have been like thinking about it so much. And every time I think about it, I'm like, oh, man, I got to do this. I, I'm, I'm lazy. I got I to gotta figure this out. I got to get this under my belt. I've been stressing about it. Like, I haven't done it yet, but I've been thinking, <laughs> I've been thinking about it. You, you know how I... You know, you know, Mitch is. I know uh, how you been. Messed up mind. All right. I've been stressing about it because I got to use it. I haven't used it yet, but. Yeah. And I I get you, though. I completely understand. Yeah. Uh, You just need the motivation. I do. Kick in the ass. Yeah. So I'll do it one day. I'll just like be like, oh, I'm going to do this right now. And then I'll figure it out. And then it'll be done. But yeah. Call me and then help me figure out whatever I need done. Yeah. That's like basically all I have to talk about for this week. I didn't have much. We got the Situate Art Festival coming up. It's kind of like the biggest, it, it's the biggest festival our town's ever seen. Yeah. And we get, I don't know, 100,000 people in here. It's It shuts down the whole town. So it's been kind of crazy. And I've been, I'm going to work it three days this weekend. So actually, no, you're, by the time you guys hear this, it'll be Monday. It'll be after the art festival. But next year, I'll be at the St. Joseph's Church, uh, either 
food tent or the youth ministry oh, tent? Oh, the food tent. I used to do the food tent at St. Joseph's. Because you had to get the hours for the thing. And- yeah. And then, like, after I had all the hours, my mom was like, oh, you should, you should still go do it. You should, like, you know, they're always like, oh, it's a great thing to do. You should go help out. So I did it for, like, what, one or two years after. See? It's not that bad. It's kind of fun. You oh, know? the nights are awesome. I, you know, as yeah. long as... You don't deal with Jack. Jack doesn't like, he never liked kids, but Jack is the salt of the earth when you get older. <laughs> the other thing is we don't, we're not having the normal food tent this year. We're having. Oh, really? The function room outside the, the church. We're using that as a restaurant. Oh, that's really smart. We're that's a good idea. Time. You can just have people walk in and. It saves. They can some- go out the back, but they probably won't use that door. I don't, I don't know why I'm no, thinking about that. All the same, all the normal, just use it all. Except go through right to the church. But no, it was so that we didn't have to get another tank of propane. The oil is expensive. We're not doing funnel cakes or dough boys this year because it's it's almost wow. one and a half times or two and a half times what it originally cost. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Everything's going up. Every so. day I just hear more and more about how about it's, higher prices sucks. and everything. Yeah. And you can't tell me it's, I don't believe the percentage that it's at. It feels like it's got to be 40% because 8% across the board, I'm seeing chicken, it's 100% markup now. It's twice what it was last year. Heavy cream or cream, uh, uh, half and half is $6.50 for half and half. What the shit is going on? Yeah, and another thing I want to talk about is, like, people price gouging, too, because it's not all just inflation. Like, there's so, like, if you just, like, keep an eye out for this just in, like, your daily life, you'll start to notice it more and more. I was going to get on the Brian meal plan plan, because it's just, like, way easier to eat at school. Like, I find myself hungry all the time. It's just, like, way easier to eat there, right? I've been buying individual swipes. Online, it says 105 swipes cost $2,780. $2,780. And along with those 105 swipes, that's for like the main dining hall. Brian also has cafes around that do like Starbucks catered coffee or something like that. And like they have like another like little dining section as well with sushi, like some Chinese dishes, um, like past- I believe pasta dishes and like sandwiches and stuff. Right. And for those cafes in that other place, you get a $300 credit that you get to use at those places and that like bundled in the the cost of 7,000, I mean, $2,700. Right. And then you also get a 25 credit for like something else, but that $25 is basically irrelevant when you're paying that much money. So I calculated it. When I go to the dining hall and pay for individual swipes, right? Right. I do not pay more than $20. I paid again today. Uh, it was like 16, 16 change, like 16, like 60, something like that. Perfect. Right? Right. Multiplied that by 105. Yep. And it is nice. way, yeah, it's, it's less. way less. Yep. And even if you add on the other that stuff. other 325, it's still less. And I'm just like sitting here and I'm like, no, there's got to be something I'm missing. There's got to be something I'm missing, but I'm not missing no, anything. Because when you said those numbers, I was, I Here's the thing. the calculator. Maybe the food is a bit more expensive at the cafes, right? Like they have sushi rolls, right? Which are 1095, I think. They have like other dishes, which are also 1095. So maybe if you, but I don't know, your $300 that you're allowed to spend there is capped. But I think, no, here's the thing. You could use the swipes, the 105 swipes. You could use those at those cafes, but you can only get what they say. Like, you can only pick from certain choices. Like, you can't, like, get, like, 10 sushi rolls with one swipe. Oh, well, But at the dining hall, you can get however much you want. Exactly. So that's maybe what they're considering. But it's limited at the cafes, so... I don't know. It still seems like you're getting it's screwed. It's five dollars. Yeah, for the hundred and five swipes just alone. It's it, twenty five dollars. That twenty seven hundred dollars. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, it's it's insane. Sixteen dollars. When I yeah. figured that out, I was like, I was just going back and forth. I was like, why? No, I gotta be missing something. This is ridiculous. No, nope. no, you do it. You do it your way. Yeah, just buy it. What? Right, that's what I'm doing. And breakfast is cheaper than lunch. Oh, shit. but it went up a lot since last year because. I went Cost to get, I got a lunch with Chuck who's worked there for a while and he's like, oh, it's not that much. It's like uh, eight or nine bucks or something like that. I think it was below 10, he said. Way above that. No, it was uh, whoa. Yeah, so like, everything's going up. Well, yeah. it's just, 
except the except wages. It's insane. Can't keep up. My yeah. God. We gotta we gotta get out of this situation. Oh my gosh. We gotta get out of it. The problem is it's just gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. Yeah, it has it's to. going to. And that's the problem. Yeah, they it were talking to. about a possibility of a soft landing. Maybe this is the soft landing, like we're just starting to notice it more and more. Soft landing. We haven't had the hard crash. We're due for a hard crash. That's that's what I've been thinking too. I'm no. not an expert on this by any means. We're due. But it's insane. It's it, every like every indicator is going off saying we're we're in deep shit. <laughs> and it hasn't hit yet. Yeah, it's so confusing how, like, all those banks failed and, like, I don't know, I wonder how oh, no. the way people think about the way things work and kind of have, like, that I, I like, I know about it, but I don't care and I'm just going to keep going yes. mentality today more yes. than they did back in the day. Yes. Um, I wonder how that affects things because I know that psychology has a big effect on, like, like stocks and stuff like that sometimes, so it has to have an it's effect on the markets. Like, 100%. he was talking about uh, inflation. In inflation expe expectation, which I didn't even know that was a thing. I was like, well, that's kind of speculative. I didn't expect that to be like an actual measure that they would consider. Right. Or even look at, you know? So that was that was pretty interesting. Oh my gosh, I almost bombed my... Uh, well, I did... I basically... Well, no, I didn't bomb. But I'm really damn close to bombing my ISA test or exam. What the hell's ISA? Uh, in, it's like an information systems oh, okay. in analytics yeah. or something like that. It's one of those classes, basically. Um, I didn't really study much for it. I looked at the slides, and all the slides were like describing different different like information systems, like cloud systems, like um, my SQL or something right. like that. My, I think, yeah, yeah. my okay. server. Okay, yeah, it's things like that, and it was just describing like the differences between them. And I was reading it, and I was like, I cannot like just focus on this. Oh, it's right just now. This yeah, way too much. The night before, right? And then <laughs> that morning, I was having breakfast, and then I realized I had an exam due at the start of class for managerial accounting, which was after the information technology test. Oh, shit. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had to take my accounting exam thirty minutes before my uh, my ISA exam, and then I got like a sixty on my ISA exam. Is that? But I got an 88 on my managerial. Oh, well, that's... Which was good. But the ISA, you... Yeah, the last question still needs to be graded, and it's worth 10 points, so I'm probably going to pass, but still terrible. Holy hell. Yeah, that, that that was... Was that your fault, or you just... It, um, I guess it was my fault. I could have studied the slides a lot more, but it's like, still, it felt, I, it felt like it was just like really difficult information to just like, remember. Why don't you take that stuff and... Put it in, you know, why don't you put it in the chat GPT? I could. I really could. Do. I would have been like, hey, can you explain this to yeah. me like I'm a five-year-old? Yeah. You know, I should really do that. I don't understand. You got all these fucking it's like, tools, man. I know. I know. I've been using tools. chat. I've been using chat GPT a lot more now that I have the app on my phone. Yeah. And I have I a question. That. I'm not going to Google anymore. Yeah. Oh, God. Because you, you got to search through the results yeah. to get the one you want. And it's actually like, it was really useful. I was having a conversation with my mom earlier and we wanted to, and we were trying to figure something out. I don't know what it was for, but I just asked ChatGPT and I was like, oh, well, this is, oh, it was about, we're cleaning out the house. It's a mess. When it, the house isn't a mess, but right. we have a lot of we stuff. Have a huge clutter room, right? And we were, we were thinking about like, you know how you can donate to Goodwill and then you can write write off like right. what you donate on your taxes? Like it's not a lot, but like you can get something off. Right. We were thinking, we were trying to figure out how to do that. Like what are the steps? And I just asked ChatGPT and it was like, yep, do this. If it's over this amount, you have to do it this way. Like they itemize it all there for you. You don't have to do it yourself. And I just learned about it in like two seconds. It's great. Like and if, and if you look that up on Google, you have to like go through a bunch of different articles. Like, oh yeah. Or you could have just, Talk to Mark Laporte. Yeah, I would have said that you or for have, that you have a standard deduction of twelve thousand five hundred. <laughs> so once you go above that, okay, then that's where itemization would come into play. Like if you itemize all your stuff and you're above twelve thousand five hundred that you can claim off your taxes, that's when you would it would make sense. But if you don't really Beetle. give a lot, or you you have you can't really deduct more than twelve thousand, but just take the standard deduction. So standard deduction, if I'm not mistaken, like if I just donate a decent amount of things, I'll just get that automatic. You don't even have to donate. You get it automatically. Oh, everyone gets yeah. that. Okay. And that's oh, why okay. that's why you'd either go with that 
or you'd itemize everything. And some people, you know, they would. I they, wonder they if would, like taxes do, on do groceries. a lot of people not know about the standard deduction? Like, is that like? No, I mean it's it's automatically in the oh, tax. It's right there. Okay, you just click I'm not it. Not listening. All right. That's okay. That's cool. It's uh, about that. So Thank yeah, you. Um, but I mean, your parents because your father owns his own business and everything. There's there's probably just so much that they can do with taxes. Yeah, that I hope helps them out. Yeah, we were talking about S corps today and like stuff like that. Who you it's and pretty, your dad or you? Uh, me and my brother. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, we were talking about that. Why? Uh, because I think I brought it up because of class. Oh, but yeah, and I was um another cool thing I heard in class. My I was talking to my ISA teacher after class today about like um AI in because he's from China I believe. Mm-hmm. So I was asking him about like how they have all the digital profiling in China. Like you have to get scanned before you go in a store. You have a you have a profile on you online of everything you do and all those things. And I asked him about it. I was like, do you think it's coming here? Like, what do you, what do you, what do you think? What are your thoughts on it? And it's like, there's kind of like a language barrier between right, and right. many people. But um, he kind of basically said, like, if you want it to stop, you're going to have to raise your voice like really loud. <laughs> and so he basically said, yeah, it's coming and you can't stop it. <laughs> Pretty much. Because yeah. nobody, everybody's just silent. Yep. And I was like, well, uh, that's not happening. <laughs> It won't happen as long as you have your guns. That's it. <laughs> this is Do your Do not saying. give up your guns. Second Amendment. I think that's it for this week's episode of Coffee Milk. We'll see you next week.